Welcome, Gemini, to your end of the month reading for April. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this is going to take place from the 24th to the 30th. And this is for your sun, moon, and rising, and of course for cross -watchers. Okay, what's going on? This message for Gemini. Following a routine is really what I'm feeling, kind of like staying on the same path, even if you feel like it might not be benefiting you at this time. I kind of feel like that's like for finances and love, just kind of like the overall, um, just kind of stay put, do what you need to do. And last one, guys. Oh. Patience. Having the patience before the change, um, keeping everything very moderate, keeping everything the way intact, the way it is, keeping things tempered, keep your temper tempered. Um, if you have any kind of work-related travel, um, just make sure that you're using moderation. Don't be too hurried, too, you know, too fast-paced. You don't want to do anything that could be unbeneficial to you at this time. Um, proceeding accordingly, pretty much to plan, movement choices and decisions. There's going to be a lot of movement choices and decisions that are going to be made towards the end of the month. Um, and this feels like that's why it's kind of like just follow what is already kind of going on. There are going to be some choices that you're going to have to make, but make sure they're moderate, patient um, choices. Don't just jump into something right off the bat. There's no real leap of faith going on over here. It's just more like maintaining the discipline um, within the situation and kind of staying on that same track of mind to hope. Because everything, it looks hopeful and it's kind of like you're going for this dream. You're going for exactly what you really need to do. Um, things will look up and things are starting to um, kind of, like there's kind of a, a reaction from the universe to the way that you're moving. So making, you know, got the solar eclipse coming up. So just make sure that you're not making too quick, hasty movements. Um, the, make sure that the movement choices and decisions are well thought through and make sure that you're not changing too much too fast because it's coming kind of on its own flow. So yes, make sure you're keeping yourself very balanced at this time. There needs to be a lot of balance. There needs to be things that, you know, any discussions that you're having, make them simple. Don't make them too hard. Um, I just keep hearing that maybe, you know, there's, you know, keep the humbleness within the family, um, within the friendships, um, you know, that's kind of like those hasty decisions are made, um, you know, make sure that you're talking from your heart. The spiritual strength seems a little low um, towards, the, <clears throat> towards the end of the month, and I think it's because you're kind of on the go. Um, make sure that you are putting a little more uh, meditation within your life and, you know, making things a little more hopeful. Um, you know, maintaining your heart and going for things truly through your heart. Um, if you have any kind of health issues, be sure to also watch the um, signs of that as well. Um, improve your diet, any things of this nature. Patience and planning, because there's a lot of patience and planning going. So it does feel like you're um, just kind of sincerely going along this track. I'm just kind of, like I said, just, you know, be patient. I just, it's what it's saying, you know, be humble. I just get this humbleness out of this thing, out of this reading. Hmm. All the victory and success that you're looking for from the situation at, at this time, you're waiting for this change. So nothing at this time is actually going to really change. Everything that is stable is going to stay the same. Um, there's nothing huge coming just yet from this situation, um, but it does feel like there will be, you know, a lot more support from the situation, but it's kind of the same support that you're getting at this time. Um, so, you know, that's what I'm trying, you know, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like nothing is really, it's just going with the flow right now because you're getting ready for the change, a major change, um, but it's all going to be within the patience and the planning um, from the universe itself. Okay. So avoid any obstacles and challenges along the way. Um, you know, don't make things harder than they need to be, um, you know, avoid any kind of incidences or too many risks. Um, so, if, you know, make sure that you're paying attention to any red flags that are, you know, coming at you, okay, and make sure that you're really using your wisdom 
Um, there's going to be a lot of wisdom and a lot of um, thoughts and things that need to come to um, to play towards the end of the month. It feels like this is kind of like the 30th of the month, and this is where you're really going to want to trust in your intuition and trust in your gut feelings and things of this nature and really get scholarly as well. So there also could be something that you're actually learning um, along the way um, at the end of the month. So, okay. And the last card is, wow, the universe. Okay, so that's where the destiny and the change is going to come. It's almost like, okay, I want you to do this. And as soon as your your intuition starts really pumping over here and you start learning something or something comes up that, you know, really gets your attention um, about something that you had to learn, then it's going to make this new, um, kind of a new, it feels like a new faded decision with the wisdom um, which is then therefore going to change the situation into a better situation. Um, and so also watch your emotions during this time of the month um, because it feels like your emotions might be running a little high. It could be from the, sol uh, the solar eclipse coming as well as it's kind of intermixing all these energies. So if you feel like, you know, I'm overeating, I'm oversleeping, um, that could be of a lower vibration, but it also could be um, you know, the energy drain that you're getting from the solar eclipse. So on the movement choices, decisions in areas over here, it is saying right now is not a time to really, yeah, it's this not the time to make any wise, you know, over the top decisions, um, through communication. Somebody might be trying to come towards you too, um, that wants to give you something so big that it makes you think, but it's saying, don't really do that just yet until after the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse is like the 27th. So it could be somewhere between the 20th. Like I said, it feels like the 30th. So it could literally be after like the 27th through the 30th. Cause I see the sun over here too. It's kind of interesting. And it makes me think that after the solar eclipse, you can make this huge decision. Do you not make any wise, you know, overly wise leaps of faith and decisions until yeah, no decisions. Because the only movements and choices you're making are the ones that keep you on this same path. Right? So what the hope is, there it is, the fool. No leaps of faith, no risks at this time. Everything right now just feels like it's too risky. It feels like somebody has something that's coming towards you. It could be a Libra who has this wonderful idea. Let's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just put it out there for an example. They have this great money-making pyramid. <laughs> Right. And they're like, we're going to make tons of money. Um, and then they want you to invest a bunch of money. Um, that is not a wise choice because more than anything, this pyramid is literally a scheme. Like it is bad news bearers. Um, so it does feel like your intuition will be playing a huge role um, towards the end of the month. It's going to give you this. Thank God I didn't do that. Because somebody is really trying to work their magic over here to try to get you to come up with a new change and put you somewhere where it's different from what you're on. And, and they're saying, no, moderation will get you to where you need to be. Taking these huge steps and leaps and all these things are risky business that's going to hurt. They're going to hurt. Okay. So the smart policy right now is no policy, except for the policy you're already doing, right? You're only tempering the waters. You know, I mean, this is a temperance card, my friend. So you're just tempering the waters. It's like I got one foot in and one foot out. But, you know, I'm not going to put my other foot in because, you know, that would be a risk to jump in the water. You don't want to do that. They are, you know, they are um, guilty of not knowing or they're guilty of knowing. So somebody is guilty of knowing um, that something is wrong with this situation or they're very naive because the Queen of Pentacles can be also a card of naiveness. And they're very naive to the situation in which they may end up getting hurt in the situation as well. So no matter how it is, it's this guilty kind of play out um, and the naiveness or guilty. Okay, let's put it that way. So one way or the other, right, you're going to keep yourself just in the loving area of your life, doing what you're supposed to be doing, and just allowing the regular prosperities of life to just harvest around you. That's it, right? That's it. I mean, just maintaining your discipline following your plan that you've already put into action, making smart calls. S smart, these smart calls and movements and decisions are already the plan you already have in action. 
there's no erratic, you know, I'm going to do this because everything else is a little erratic, you know, a little um, erratic. So with the seven of wands over here, it says with the spiritual strength over here, you're not going, it just feels like, okay, well, that's fine because I'm not going to really put a whole lot of spiritual strength into this situation um, because it's not really needed. So it just feels like you're kind of not really 100% on that journey at this time. Um, and this is saying, if you do not become disciplined where you need to be, all the enlightenment that you've gained will become an invaluable resource. Hmm. Hmm. Right? You may also notice that the experience that experimenting with different things in your life at this time, all of these experiences will then, because the card's upside down, it's not going to be feeding you the experience, it's going to be hurting your future. So you do not want to do such a thing, right? You want to achieve the outcome. You want to feed everything. And this will be going against, pretty much with this upside down is like I'm going against the grain. So I'm not going to stand up for any of these kind of achievements or anything at this time because my intuition, I'm telling you, it's because your intuition is probably already kind of eating you up, telling you this is not the best place for me to be. There's something fishy with the situation. There's something that I don't need to be doing. And this is avoiding the obstacles and challenges that could lie ahead from you taking this risk. So patiently planning, you're saying, oh, I'm not going to patiently plan. There's no, you know, there's no need. I'm just going to give to where I need to give, benefit from what I need to benefit from. That's it. You know, if I give charity this month, that's what I need to do. That's where I'm giving my money. So you're giving where you feel you need to give. Spirit says, continue to keep giving where you've been giving to keep the balanced scales. Or the scales balanced. I said it backwards. <laughs> to keep the scales balanced. This is going to keep you balanced. So, no, there is no victory in success within the situation at this time. Because you're still in the process of doing such a wonderful thing until the universe comes in. So, it's kind of hum hoeing, right? You're just kind of, there's a simplicity that goes with the inference. Right? She's just very happy and just very simplistic and she's just nurturing and loving and just sitting over here just being beautiful, being a queen. And it's saying that's all you're, you know, it's sitting over here is the balance with the victory and it's saying that's all I really need right now. The harvest that I'm waiting for is cannot come any faster because this is naive or guilty of trying to push me somewhere that's not going to bring me any victory because it's not really here just yet. I'm still in the process of doing things. And you know this, and you're going to keep your emotions very tight. You're already looking into the cup saying, there's already something that I'm doing now that I know is prosperous for me. Stop trying to make me do something different because they feel like, well, if maybe if you do this, or maybe they're trying to change things around too much, which then might even make you feel like it's a little, I just feel like it's naive. I don't know why. I, I think it's because they're guilty of naiveness because they really think that what they're trying to do is really going to help the situation, um, but they didn't do their homework. See, here's your homework, and they didn't do theirs. So, obstacles and challenges coming out. Obstacles and challenges, avoiding the obstacles and challenges. You don't need to feel like you're out in the cold. But the problem is that the person who's trying to get you to do whatever it is that they're trying to do may feel like they're out in the cold because it feels like you're neglecting their decision. They feel like you're neglecting this, you know, uh, what they believe to be a great idea. Um, but it feels like you're saying no because I don't want to be stuck out in the cold. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to lose. I don't want to be disappointed. This car is all broke, disappointed, hurt, neglected, bad. Things of sorrow, depression. Look at that's depression. So if somebody is actually, if this is a love situation, let's just go there for a second because we're looking at it from monetary gains, but let's look at it from a love situation as well. I've been trying to, to just kind of get both in too if I really see it. Um, but if it's a love situation, you're saying, I don't want to take your love at this time. I'm good where I am. 
Maybe you feel like the Queen of Pentacles, they're too unstable. It's sitting on the, the balance card. Maybe they're saying you're too unstable in work. You're too unstable in your emotions. You're too, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm just not ready. I need healing. However it is, take it from your, you know, your story, my friends. But the point is, is you do not want to feel like this and it just feel like they're feeling like that. So they could feel like, why aren't you taking my love, Gemini? They want you to cooperate. They want you to open up to them for you know, certain kinds of decisions. And you're saying, no, I'm keeping it very simple. These decisions and these discussions that I'm having with you are very simple. I see that no matter what the situation is, whether it's monetary gains, if it's just your personal, 100% personal life, professional life, love life, it doesn't matter what it is, you're keeping everything very simple, very humble. You might even be just helping out your family. You're like, I'll help you, but I'm not going to give everything I have or I'm not going to do this. Everything's staying the same. As you're getting the wisdom and the understanding and your intuition is really coming through and you're really learning things and really listening um, or something pops up or however it is to catch your intuition, it says, this is where I'm glad I, hold, I held on. It's almost like the truth is now coming out. The truth is now coming out for you to say, I am so glad that I felt this way. Maybe they feel like you were stingy. Maybe they felt like, you know, they wanted you to give more um, to the situation, however, and you were like, thank God I held on to my money. That goes back to that thing, though, where, you know, that kind of pyramid scheme kind of thing doesn't mean that's what it is. But I'm just kind of saying that could have been, it could be Bitcoin. Whoa. Them wanting you to invest in Bitcoin. I see that. And you're saying no, because it's kind of weird because it's all electronic and what if I lose or. Well, whatever it is, um, you're definitely glad that you held on to where you're supposed to be. Um, and even if they did feel like you were only giving to where you wanted and you were stingy, you could even kind of giggle my friends and say, thank God I was, you know, thank God I was stingy. I was listening to my intuition. Um, with the universe over here, we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out, which is saying this is the gift from the universe saying, thank God you listened to what you were supposed to listen to, Gemini. And now here comes your reward. See, so the whole point of this story is being patient, listening, keeping yourself humble, um, you know, loving what you already have and what you already desire and knowing that you're going where you're supposed to be doing here as a card of intuition as well. And knowing exactly what's in your cup, you're saying it could take a while, but it's okay. I'm cool. My emotions are cool. I understand what's going on. And then you get this beautiful war, you know, reward from the situation to where you feel like you have kind of this new start um, with this new job or this new, um, you know, idea or new love or however it is. And it could even be a different love coming in, right? Maybe you're saying, I don't want to deal with this again, or I'm not going to reconcile with you or however it is. But then you have this beautiful reward, which could be anything. A new date, new love. But however it is, it's allowing you to move forward, right? And you avoided so many risks within this. Well, it's almost like you, you avoided so many risks. And maybe for some of you, there's even more risks than one because it just seems very risky business over here um, to the situation. So it is kind of interesting, um, especially when we're talking about movement choices and decisions, right? We might even be talking about two situations in one. Um, for some of you. Okay. And um, it looks great though. You know, it looks great. You just keep going where you're supposed to be going. Okay. And uh, for FYI, for the spiritual reading at the end of the month, I am doing the uh, four tips. Let's see what I called it. <laughs> so what did I call it? I called it the four tips of how to use your intuition pretty much is what it is. Okay. So you might want to talking about intuition. I just, every time I said intuition reminds me of that video, um, that I had just done. I haven't gotten it up yet, guys. We're going to finish up the end of the month first before I upload it. But yeah, I just did intuition one yesterday and it just feels like, yeah, here it is. Um, so don't forget to watch that spiritual reading at the end of the month about four tips of how to use your intuition. Okay, and that will help you even gain more control um, and strengthen the intuition and um, for the
for those of you who don't know exactly how you did that, it will show you uh, how to actually tap into that um, on your own natural recognizance, right, and the understandings of it. Okay, my friends, and uh, till next time, peace and love, bye-bye.